Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First thing, I'd like to give a shout out and a thank you to Howard and Rick for buying us a coffee. And uh, I'd like to encourage that because uh, that uh, really feels, feels good. It helps keep things, uh, keep things going, a little energy going back into this program and uh, helps us to, to push it forward. Um, a note that uh, next week I'll be on the road, so uh, no class next week. Um, and uh, oh, one other thing is that uh, Taiji Alchemy in Sedona, Sedona, Arizona, uh, is uh, September 11th, 13th. And if you can make it, really, it's, it's, it's a, a super cool thing to do. Uh, this year's theme will be Feed Your Dragon. And uh, we've been playing with dragon energy lately. And this will take it to a whole new, whole new level. And nothing beats that participation with a group and also with, uh, you know, with me there to, to help you to iron out some of the, uh, uh, some of the wrinkles and get, get the maximum benefit from it. Uh, so doing it itself is worth the trip just for, just for that. And to go there with a group like this one is out of this world. It's a very big hearted group of, uh, uh, a lot of love there, like unconditional love and acceptance and mutual respect. And, and also there's a, a deep curiosity that uh, it kind of is the sine qua non of, the, uh, of this group. So it's, uh, uh, I invite you to come find, you can get more information on the website, uh, www.rickbarrett.net and you can get some information there. And uh, you can contact me uh, through that, and we can uh, fill you in on the details. Uh, so yes, so we've been getting a lot of enthusiastic response to uh, the the stuff we've been doing lately with the dragon. And I would like to go a little bit deeper with with that, as we've been just kind of really touching the surface of the of, of what's possible with this particular type of, of, of energy work because we are gradually upgrading our wiring so that we can learn to tolerate a lot more energy. And also beyond that, the jinn, that is the ability to express the energy through the body. And it's uh, that's a, a, a crucial part of this whole process, a crucial part of your Kung Fu is your ability to, to not just feel the expansiveness of the energy, but also to be able to use it, to be able to, to take it and to allow that to fill your, your whole system. And as we discussed earlier, it's, that's also the gateway to what they refer to as the spiritual illumination that comes through this type of practice. It comes from embodying the uh, the chi and learning to understand how to to understand the chi and then that awakens this other uh, uh, ways of, of, of perceiving in the world that go beyond the limits of your conscious mind your rational mind and your uh, your five senses you're able to open the eye of spirit and be able to perceive with beyond that the uh, your immediate senses. Things are no longer reduced to just the, the physical material and you're open to other, other possibilities, but it's grounded in the physical and it's also demonstrable through the physical. And so um, that's the, that's the direction we're heading. So this tool of the grass dragon meditation we've been playing with is a, a really valuable uh, tool for uh, expanding your kung fu in all directions. So it doesn't matter what your practice is, 
if it's Qigong, if it's Tai Chi, if it's Ba Gua Xing Yi, or none of the above, and you just want to feel great, uh, this is a, uh, helpful for all that because you're learning to open the energy, the meridians, the channels in the body, and but not getting limited to that, to actually be able to go beyond that and to actually experience a ways of, of opening your awareness to something much more. And um, so the uh, getting the focus on the physical and learning to bring your mind into coordination, integrating with the physical that opens up this eye of spirit. So it also enables you to uh, to access more energy and to circulate well. So in the dragon stuff, key to it is this idea that you've got this tail. So it's a, you know, we actually, as, as animals, we do have a vestigial tail that kind of got shorter and shorter and shorter through, through, the, through the millennia, through the, the eons. But it's, uh, if we can recreate that for our purposes here, for that this imaginary, create this imaginary tail that this dragon has, that you, the dragon, has, then you connect that up to your body and you're expanding your whole structure, you're expanding your awareness beyond the limits of your physical body, beyond the limits of your skin. You're able, and by doing that, just by having that, imagining that and feeling into that, you create a, an integration, a whole body integration that is difficult to get to conceptually because your, your body mind does not respond to conceptual thought. You know, it does, it, the way you put things together and objectify them and put them into language is not the language of the body. The language of the body is through feeling. And so by getting this feeling in there, we can do that. We create this, we imagine this, this something more, and then we start to feel into that. And the more we can do that, the more density we create in the energy field. So then cool stuff starts to happen. So, um, where a big part of this is having this tail, because when we do that, we are activating the lower part of your body in a way that most of us never ever approach. So we get, get that and we start to, to use that. And what that does is it, it works the lower jaw, which is a, um, if, you know, the, this, this part of your body here, if you, you uh, around the navel and, and just below the navel here. So this is your lower jowl. This is the you know, you know, three, three jowls or burners. Or a, uh, this one here, this one, this one right here, you take four, uh, the width of four fingers above that, that's your middle jowl. And then at the, at the level of the nipples, there's, there's your upper jowl. Anyway, what this, dragon thing does that mm, coiling uh, motion of that, it stimulates all three of those chows and it gets the energy, uh, gets the energy moving. And particularly in that lower chow, which we, we don't get a lot of uh, action with most of our, uh, most of our, our life. Um, we, um, we activate the uh, the Renma and the Duma, the conception vessel and the governing vessel, which are these two primary energy reservoirs that circulate through the body and fill all the other meridians. But it also works the the large intestine and the urogenital system. So you start to create this this activity there, and energy is going into 
that your lower abdomen and into the the areas around your hips and and you're getting more activity there, more energy there, and it corrects a lot of the the, the deficiencies and also the impairments that we accumulate over the years. When we can connect up that tail with our arms and hands, then there's this a continuous energetic connection throughout the whole system that is difficult to get without that. You can get it, but it's this enhances it. It's, a, it's an easy way of, of making that exaggerated connection that takes you into a whole different level of operation with your chin, with your ability to utilize your energy. So we're going to uh, take this a little bit deeper and trying to still keep it simple because there's, like I said, we kind of scratched the surface in terms of what is possible with this, with this grass dragon exercise, but I'm trying to keep it real simple so that you can get a, a, a solid foundation in the internal connections that enable us to create these, these very powerful effects with a minimum amount of effort. And that comes by connecting up your body, mind, spirit, and learning to understand the chi that is that is making the whole system go. So why don't you stand up, please, and we'll uh, we'll do some stuff. Just a little wider than, than hip width. A nice, nice wide base for this one. We got, we got a dragon here. The, um, the inspiration for the grass dragon in, in the Chinese mythology is uh, the Chinese alligator. And the... Uh, United States and China are the only two places where the, the this particular uh, uh, species of alligator uh, are found. So the uh, um, Chinese alligator is not nearly as vicious as the uh, as the American one. It's actually quite benign and doesn't tend to eat pets and children and things. So it's uh, it consequently the Chinese dragon is a very benign creature as well. Very beneficent, wise and and it is a symbol of good health and longevity. And it's also uh, this you know, you're, you're considerable considerable power. So uh, Let's get our three pillars in. Feel the balls of your feet. Knees are unlocked. Your, your legs softening, sinking into the earth. Reach with the crown of the head. Activating the knee one. Opening the jade pillow gate. Tuck in the chin. Reach out with your elbows a little bit and round the arms and you open the shoulder joint so that you're feeling the chi in your hand. Relax your lower back. 
drop your sacrum. Just wave the earth and then sink down, spiral down, and open the quad. So as you do that too, I want you also to feel your tail. Feel your tail and as you turn, you're wagging your tail. You want a big tail. You want a kind of a, you want a dragon tail. So like think dinosaur. Think big brontosaurus. Big tail. And your body turns to the left, your tail goes to the right. Your tail goes to the left, your body goes to the right. So feel that, that connection there. Move that back and forth, feel that. Feel your fingertips, feel the fingernails. Feel the energy that's, that's circulating through your arm and Relax, sink down into the earth. Simultaneously reach up with the crown of your head, lengthening your spine. Your wrist with the reach of the fingers. As you reach with the fingers, reach out, really feel that extension. Arms, the elbows aren't locked, but you're extending your arms out there. And when you do that, you feel the the, the space between your shoulder blades, between your scapula. Feel that opening. So you're initiating the arm motion from the spine. Feel the scapula opening. Reach with the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, fingers. Feel that connection all the way through. Feel your feet. Feel your connection through your feet and into the floor. And the balls of your feet right now. And just feel that. Feel the young energetic connection there as you do that. And reach out with your tail. It's very lightly turned. Using your tail to initiate that. So what this is, you know, talking in the I've talked in the past about the yao, which is the lower back, and and traditionally we think of turning from the yao, but this takes it way beyond that because the tail is connected to the yao. So feeling now, feel your as you move your tail to the right, reach out with your right hand. You're moving to the left, you're reaching out with that. Feel that connection there. Move your tail to the left and reach out with your left hand. Feel that connection. Right. That. Come back to center. And feel into the stillness. Now go into the ball and the heels of your feet and sink. Allow that energy to move down through your body, out through your feet, into the earth. Feel yourself just emptying out. 
Get down with your elbows. And you sink into your heels and just feel into the feel into that yin energy there. You're still reaching with the crown of the head. This is an important part of the process is to be able to go to that still place also. Allows us to exaggerate the yang and then exaggerate the yin. So we can gradually expand our tolerance of the range of energy expression. Now, reach with your right wrist. Bring your hand up. Out, reach with the fingers. Raise your elbow. And feel that as you're grasping. So your, your fingers are curved as if you have your hand on, you know, reach, get the shape of, of your head there. You're reaching with that because we're we're feeling that dragon claw there, that dragon hand. So now, but there's no stiffness there. You're, you're expanding, you're reaching out. Now, you're gonna move your tail to the right. And as you do that, you're gonna take your right hand and you, as if you're wiping on a wall. And then take your tail to the left and bring your hand back and you're wiping back the other way. Turn, so you feel your tail, feel that connection from the tail all the way to those fingertips. Kind of like in the uh, Karate Kid, that uh, wax on, wax off. Just feel that, feel that connection, feel the energy in your arms. You reach out there and bring your elbow down, your wrist down, and down. Feel the chi in your right hand compared to the left hand. Notice the difference there. You may even feel like your right arm is longer than your left. Feel into that neutral place now. Sink into your heels. Uh, now let's take the left hand. Take it to the balls of your feet, reach with your left wrist, fingers, reaching out and opening. Reach down with your right hand as you reach out with your left. Feel those fingers, feel the tail. Wag back and forth, just really establish that contact, 
that connection all the way through. Getting your body moving as a unit. Wag your tail to the right as you wag to the left. Wag. That tail with that connection. So the, it's 50 to 50, the, uh, the tail and the arms you want to feel, or actually the tail and everything else. Tail is really dominating the conversation. Feel that, bend that arm, feel that, feel the connection between your two hands. So right now we're feeling the chin. And then the body getting together and integrating in a way that is amplifies the effect of the body. Now, with your elbow and Now feel into your left hand. Feel into your right hand. If you notice the feelings there. Feel the connection. Feel that whole body energetic connection. Feel it connecting up with your feet. Feel the chi reaching out to the tip of your tail. Wag your tail very lightly, like a cat flicking its tail. Okay, so now both arms come up. The wrist, swing at the balls of your feet, the fingers. Feel those claws. Elbows are reaching out. So now we've gotten, we're getting very big and wide. So bring your hands out so they line up your shoulders. We've got this dragon now, very wide stance. And they're wide. Uh, Waping to the left, tail goes to the right. Rotate and wipe back with your left. Your right. Feel the tail. Nice and slow. Very deliberate. Left hand. You're reaching out, grasping something. This is a, a different kind of, of power that you're going to get from this kind of thing because then say from doing push-ups or, or uh, bench presses or like that, which is kind of a muscular contraction, which is built on creating more muscle strength by tightening things up. 
Here we're, oh, we're going the opposite direction. We're reaching out, we're extending and letting the chi flow. And so it's more like a pneumatic press or something where you're, you're ex expanding from that internal pressure. And bring your hands down, look at your heels. Just feel where things are going. Just allow it to happen. You're not doing anything now. This is Wu Wei. In this, in this state, we're putting our position, in, our body in a position, and allowing the energy to do what it needs to do. Okay, to the wrists, both arms come up. The ball to your feet. Reach. Reach with the elbows. Open up your scapula. Reach, opening up. By open, by doing this, reaching out like this, we're Opening the lung meridian, which goes in from your thumb up, up here to your chest on both sides. We're opening that, which corresponds to the large intestine meridian. So this is creating these two poles in the system energetically, and it creates a uh, an expansiveness, top and bottom, which is important for your for your health and longevity. Okay, so now we're going to go. We're going to think. We're going to sink down as we turn, and the head the head goes to the left as your right hand comes out. And it goes to the right as you're turn, wiping with the left. So we're coordinating the tail. The head is, mm, is going the opposite direction. Sink into that, wag that tail. Sink. Wiping. And back to center. Think of your heels, elbows come down, elbows come down. Feel the in, emptying out. All along, all that chi to move through. By exposing ourselves to the range of tolerance there, we increase our capacity, increase our energy potential. This is, these are recreatable potentials of energy, allowing us to summon them 
whenever we need them. We're doing it by plugging into the big chi. Right now, that energy is moving through you into the earth. But it's the, uh, you're just borrowing that chi. It's moving through you. You become part of a, of a much bigger system. We do this. Step in. Take a deep breath, swim the ball to your feet. Very young, and then in the heels and very yin. Disappear the energy, dissolve into the emptiness. Feel into that stillness. Please take a seat. <laughs> I go on. Yeah. <laughs> when, you start, when I when you started me tonight, it felt like I was in a suit of armor that went from the heavens to the bowels of the earth. And I thought for a second, I couldn't contain the energy that was flowing through. But then with a mental readjustment, it was like, let it flow. Don't fight it. Don't force it. Let it flow. And from then on, I was part of the universe. It was neat. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, my father had to get a um, hip replacement. And my latest bout of physical therapy was whenever I was sitting too long, the left side, which was the generally the side of my father's uh, genetic issue would get tense and I'd have to do exercises and physical therapy. And since we've been doing this, I've noticed no problem on that side. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that, uh, that that's important what you just said there, because it's um, that that is something one can expect from this from this type of uh, a thing, and not just this type, this specific exercise, because it uh, we're engaging a part of our body which for the vast majority of people is terra incognita. It just you know you don't you don't know, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it so very cool. Very cool to get get that kind of uh, uh, feedback that quickly from it too. Well, of, I didn't believe it. I mean, I was saying I just must be doing something right, my morning exercises or whatever. But then, of course, I thought, what is different? these last few weeks. And I was going, I've been doing the tail. I've been doing the tail. And then this thing. So, you know, now I'm, I'm willing to go, yeah, come on. Once the mind, once Rick Barrett opens my mind, zero K stays open. <laughs> you sweet talker, you. <laughs> nah, you. You sweet talker, you. You. I get the benefit of your sweet talk. <laughs> 
Valerie, you had your hand up. Um, are there are lions in front of the Native American Museum in downtown Manhattan, right? Yeah. What, there's not stone lions in front of the... Oh, okay, at the library then. The library. Okay. It, it's a very strange sensation to feel like your, your hands, your fingers, your fingernails are made out of concrete, yet are not, <laughs> you know? I mean, they can move so fluidly and you're, it's, they're just so big and they're so dense and they're so full. Um, I'm so seeing I, it I, right now. Pardon me? I'm seeing, I'm seeing it in your hands right now. There's oh, yeah. a, a whole lot of chi in those hands. And it's just, um, it's pretty cool. But I, I have to say, I slipped into the lion there for a bit. <laughs> slipped into the lion instead of the, the dragon, but still had the same effect for me. But, you know, I didn't lose the tail. Didn't lose the tail. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm looking up the Museum of the American uh, Indian in New York, and I believe there are lions in front. There's, there's statues, but there are, I mean, there's, there's might be some on the statues. But... Okay. Scott, you had something. Yeah. Um, so, as I, um, I guess as I've been doing this, I've been, you know, kind of tensing as I, make the claw and when you said make a relaxed claw that was really made a you know I met a whole different part of my dragon. Beautiful. Because yeah. you're reaching you're reaching without that without the, the uh, compensatory pulling back. So there's just opening. Right. Yeah because I'm thinking dragon, I'm thinking big powerful crush things. But then when I think, you know, then when you said it and I think about it, it's like, you know, dragons are really sinewy and, you know, they're, they're really like big snakes, right? They don't, so they, they kind of move in that wavy. They don't tense up. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I checked it, Scott. You're right. It's, uh, it's a statue of uh, three individuals. No, no right. lie. Right. Lions were residing someplace else. They also wandered into um, Ghostbusters. <laughs> you know, where they in front of the building where they've got those kind of monstery kind of things yep. that were kind of around. Yeah, I, I went there too. <laughs> and and my eyes are still moist. Nice. Uh, I. It, uh, it's, it's almost incredible that I'll be standing somewhere and just there'll be a nice film of tear, you know, actually to the point of I can feel it. Like if I pushed it, I could have that teardrop drop, you know, onto my cheek, which is mm. just fabulous. Thank you very much. And I did tell my ophthalmologist about this. <laughs> and he didn't think it was... He was telling me something else that they've, they've done. Um, I think the machine is quite expensive, but uh, he didn't bat an eye. You know, and I was telling him I was doing this kind of like a Qigong kind of energy kind of thing. And I've got tears in my eyes. And I mean, he can see in his exam how much liquid I now have. So, you know, he, he isn't going to go, you're crazy, girl. Very cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. Um, yes, yeah, so this this dragon thing. Try it in in you know not just you guys but anybody who's watching this. You know, try it in in other stuff. You know, try it in your your taiji form. Try it in other other things. You go and try it. You know, just many times a day. Just wag your tail. Yeah, just <laughs> nobody has to notice, you know. You just do do do. You get kind of that goofy smile on your face. You say, I'm just wagging my tail. 
And uh, uh, because the more we do that, the more we create that connection, it, the more it stimulates the, uh, the chi, gets things moving and uh, reverses the wages of, of, of aging. You know, the, it reverses the, uh, the effects that we accumulate by, by getting, getting the chi moving again. Got um, so when I'm at work, I, you know, will, I generally go into a bathroom so people don't think I'm crazy, but, you know, I generally do, you know, 30 seconds to a minute of, you know, of the dragon qigong and it's like a cup of coffee, really. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. And that, that's exactly what you can do. Just like, oh, I got 30 seconds. I can, I can feed the dragon and, you know, there you are. Uh, it changes, changes the game. It gets things moving. Better than a cup of coffee. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you all so much. No class next week. Uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. A wonderful trip.